Hello, in this lecture I will explain what is uh, mathematical induction. <coughs> mathematical uh, induction is a logical method to prove uh, that uh, a statement, a claim or an equation is true for all the natural numbers. Uh, natural numbers is a positive uh, integer. That is to say 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Uh, we actually uh, do two stages when we prove something uh, according to mathematical induction. In the first uh, stage, we will check that the statement is true for n that equals to 1. And uh, if we actually pass uh, the test and it is actually true for n, that equals to, to 1, then we will go to the second step, second stage. Uh, that is to say, we will assume that the statement is true for n, and uh, as we rely on the the assumption that is also called uh, the induction hypothesis or the induction assumption, uh, we will prove that the statement is also true for n plus 1. Okay, so we will have two equations. The first equation will be the induction uh, hypothesis that we assume that the first equation is true and uh, we will rely on the, the second equation in order to prove we will rely on the first equation in order to prove that the second uh, equation for n plus 1 is also true. So we will prove the second equation for n plus 1 by relying on the second, on the first equation for n. Okay, now I will explain uh, what is the logic uh, behind the mathematical induction. Uh, we actually have already pro proved uh, that the statement uh, is true for n that equals to 1 because we checked uh, that it is in indeed true for n that equals to 1 and then in the second stage we proved in general that if uh, the statement is true for n, it must be also true for n plus 1. So, now that we know that the statement is true for n that equals to 1, we can say that the statement is also true for n plus 1, according to our general uh, proof. And n plus, plus 1, when n equals to 1, is 1 plus 1. That is to say 2. So, we deduce from our general proof that if it is true for n, it also must be true for n plus 1, that uh, it is true for n that equals to 2, that is 1 plus 1. And then we will repeat on the same process again. Now that we know that the statement is true for n that equals to 2, we can say uh, 
according to our general proof that if it is true for n, it also must be true for n plus 1, we can say that because of the, of the fact that we know that the statement is true for 2, it must also be true for 2 plus 1, that is n plus 1. And uh, 2 plus 1 is free. So now that we know that the statement is true for free, we can again rely on our general proof in order to prove it for 3 plus 1, that is 4. And when we know that it's uh, true for 4, we will rely on our general assumption that if it is true for n, it also must be true for n plus 1, that it is also true for 4 plus 1, that is 5, and so on and so on. We also repeat on the same process again and again, and in this way we actually proved that the statement is true for all uh, the natural numbers. Okay, so in order to clarify the topic, I will give you two examples. Now we will start with the first example. One plus two plus three plus plus n equals to n times n plus one all divided by two. So we have to prove that this statement. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus n equals to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. We have to prove that this statement is true for all the natural numbers. So we will start with the first stage. That is to say, we will prove, we will check that the statement is true for n that equals to 1. So, in this side of the equation, we will have n because, uh, we will have 1 because n equals to 1, 1 equals to 1 n times n plus 1 divided by 2, n equals to 1, so it is 1 times 1 plus 1 divided by 2. 1 plus 1 is 2, so it is 1 times 2 divided by 2. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we got that 1 equals to 1. So we actually proved, we actually uh, proved that our statement, the statement is true for n that equals to 1. Okay, now we will go to the second stage. And do it in a new page. In the second stage, we 
we will assume that this statement is true for n, so and that will be the induction hypothesis. First equation is actually our assumption that the statement is true for n, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus n equals to n times n plus 1 all divided by 2 so actually the first equation is the induction hypothesis or induction assumption that this statement is true for n Okay, and as we rely on this assumption, we will prove the statement for n plus 1. So, the second equation that we have to prove will be for n plus 1. So, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n plus n plus 1 equals now actually we have n times n plus 1 divided by 2 in the original statement and we want to prove that this statement is true for n plus 1 so instead of n we will write n plus 1 because we want to prove that the statement is true for n plus 1 so n will be substituted by n plus 1 okay so in the original statement we have n times n plus 1, so it will be n plus 1 times n plus 1 plus 1. Okay? All divided by 2. Okay, so the first uh, equation is the induction hypothesis. We assume that the first equation is true, and the second equation is the equation that we have to prove when we rely on our assumption that the first equation is true. Okay, so if we look on this expression, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus n, it is exactly as this, the same expression F as this expression in the first equation and uh, this 
expression equals to this n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So we can say actually that, that this expression equals to this expression. Okay? So we can substitute 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus plus n by n times n plus 1 divided by 2 because according to our inductions hypothesis these two expressions in the green color that, uh, are equal to each other. So we will write the second equation again and we substitute 1 plus 2 plus 3 by n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And then in the second expression we have plus n plus 1, so we will copy it as, as it is, n plus 1, all equals to n plus 1 times n plus 1 plus 1 is n plus 2, so in total we can write it is equals to n plus 1 times n plus 2 all divided by 2. So, in total, in the first expression, we have n times n plus 1 divided by 2, because we substituted this expression by this expression, because they are equal to each other, according to the induction hypothesis. And then we have in the second equation n plus 1, so we copy it as it is, all equals to n plus 1 times n plus 1 plus 1. So it is n plus 1 times n uh, pl plus 2, because n plus 1 plus 1 is n plus 2. So we wrote n plus 1 times n plus 2 all divided by 2. So now in the second equation, we have n plus 1 in both sides of the equation, so both sides of the equation, so we can divide both sides of the equation by n plus 1, okay? We'll get n times n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 is n divided by 2 plus n times 1 divided by n, n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 is 1 equals n plus 1 times n plus 2 divided by n plus 1 is n plus 2 divided by 2 so here we can separate n plus 2 divided by 2 to two parts okay So we will get that n divided by 2 plus 1 equals to n divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2. Okay, so we got that n divided by 2 plus 1 equals to n divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2 after we uh, uh, 
divided and plus two divided by two to two parts, and two divided by two equals to one, so we will write it down. So actually we will get that n divided by two plus one equals to n divided by two plus one, So, as you can see here, the left side of the equation equals to the right side of the equation. So we actually proved that the sec second uh, equation for n plus 1 is true. Uh, and we actually proved that uh, if the original expression is true for n, it must be also true for n plus 1. And uh, in this way, we actually proved that this statement is true for all the natural numbers. Uh, I will explain you why, because in the first stage, we actually proved that this statement is true for n that equals to 1. Okay, we proved that, that this state, statement is true for n that equals to 1. And then in the second stage, we proved that, that if the original statement is true for n, then it must be true for n plus 1. But we actually have already proved or checked that it is indeed true for n that equals to 1. So, and from our general proof that if it is true for n, it also must be true for n plus 1. We actually can say that because of the fact that, that it is true for n that equals to 1, so it must be true for uh, 1 plus 1 that is n plus 1, so it must be also true for n that equals to 2. And now that we know that it is true for n that equals to 2, we will repeat on the same process in order to prove that it is true for 3, and it is true for uh, 3 that equals to 2 plus 1 because of our general proof that if it is true for n, it also must be true for n plus 1. And then, that we know that it is true for 3, it also must be true for 4, as we really repeat on the same process again and again. We know that it is true for a specific n, and according to our general expression, we will know also that it is uh, true for n plus 1. In this way, we actually prove that it is true for all the natural numbers. Okay, so now I will give you the second example. One to the power of three plus two to the power of three 
plus three to the power of three plus plus n to the power of three equals to n square divided by n plus one square all divided by four. So we must prove that this statement is true for all the natural numbers. So we will start with the first stage. That is to say, we will check if this statement is true for n that equals to 1. side of the equation we will have n to the power of 3 because n equals to 1 equals to the other side of the equation n squared times n plus 1 square all divided by 2 and n equals to 1 so it will be 1 square times 1 plus 1 square all divided by 4. 1 square is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so it is 2 square all divided by 4. 1 times 2 to the power of 4 is 4, 2 to, to the power 2 square is 4 divided by 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 4 and 1 to the power of 3 is 1 equals to 1 so we passed the test we, we did verify that this statement is true for n that equals to 1 now we will go to the second stage That is to say, we will assume that this uh, statement is true for n and uh, we will prove it for n plus 1. So the inductions hypothesis will be that the statement is true for n so the first equation will be for n that is to say 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 3 equals to n square times n plus 1 square all divided by 4. So the induction hypothesis is that the expression, the statement from n is true or 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus plus n equals to n squared times n plus 1 squared divided by 4. So that is the induction hypothesis or induction assumption and we 
will rely on this assumption in order to prove in order to prove that this uh, statement is true for n plus 1. So the expression that we have to prove is 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus plus n to the power of 3 equals so now the second expression is for n plus 1 so wherever is written n in the original statement we will write n plus 1 because we want to prove that uh, this statement is true for n plus 1. So here we have n squared times n plus 1 squared divided by 4. So we write n plus 1 squared times the original statement is n plus 1 squared. So here, because it is expression for n plus 1, we write n plus 1 plus 1 okay square divided by 4 so we assume that the uh, First equation is true, it is an expression for n, and we will have to prove that the second expression for n plus 1 is also true. Okay? One minute, please. Uh, actually, I, I made an, a mistake in the second expression because the second expression is for n plus 1 so we will continue to add the numbers until n plus 1 so it will be n to the power 3 plus n plus 1 to the power 3 okay so I will add also again I will make uh, the second expression again. It will be 1 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 plus plus n to the power 3 plus. The expression is for n plus 1, so we will, all, we will have also after n to the power 3, we'll have n plus 1 to the power 3. All equals to n plus 1 squared times n plus 1 plus 1 squared divided by 4. Okay, so actually. This is the expression for n plus 1 because it is 1 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 plus plus n to the power 3 plus n plus 1 to the power 3 all equals to n plus 1 squared times n plus 1 plus 1 squared all divided by 4. So we repeat again, we assume that the first, the first uh, equation for n is true and we have, we have to prove that the second expression for n plus 1 is also true. Ok? 
okay so if we look on this expression and the green color it's a uh, exactly as this expression and uh, this expression equals to n square times n plus 1 square all divided by 4 so we can substitute this expression by n square times n plus 1 square all divided by 4 because they are equal to each other ok so we'll do it now so instead 1 to the power 3 plus 2 to, to the power 3 plus 3 to the power 3 plus plus n to the power of 3 we write the n square times n plus 1 square all divided by 4 and in the second equation we have n also n plus 1 to the power of 3 so we will copy it here as it is and also we will copy this expression as it is so here we have n plus 1 square times n plus 1 plus 1 is n plus 2 so it is n plus 2 square all divided by 4 and here we have n plus 1 square in both sides of the equation so we can divide both sides of the equation by n plus 1 square And we will get that n square times n plus 1 square divided by n plus 1 square is n square. So we have n square divided by 4 plus n plus 1 to the power of 3 divided by n plus 1 square is n plus 1. And n plus one square plus uh, n plus one square times n plus two square divided by n plus one square equals to n plus two square, and it is divided by four. So here. We can multiply both sides of the equation by 4. And we will get that n squared divided by 4 times 4 is n squared. Plus n plus 1 times 4 is 4 n, n plus 1. And n plus 1 square divided by 4 times 4 is n plus n plus 2 square divided by 4 times 4 is n plus 2 square. And 
and here we will open the bucket we'll get that n square plus 4n plus 4 equals n plus 2 square equals to n square plus 4n plus 4. So actually, we have here an identity n square plus 4n plus 4 equals to n square plus 4n plus 4 okay this is the identity so we actually proved that the second statement for n plus 1 is true or in general we proved that if the original statement is true for n so it must be also true for n plus 1 and in this way we actually proved that the original statement this statement is true for all the natural numbers and I will briefly explain why because in the first uh, stage we proved that uh, this statement is true for 1 and in the second stage we proved that if it is true for n it also must be true for n plus 1 so we can say that we know that it is true for n that equals to 1 and for that reason it also must be true for n plus 1 that is to say for 1 plus 1 that is 2 and then, as we know that the statement is true for n that equals to 2, we will repeat on the same process in order to uh, prove it for n uh, that equals to 3. It must be true for n that equals to for 3 because it is true for n that equals to 2, and according to our uh, general uh, proof that if it's true for n, it also must be true for n plus 1 so the statement uh, must be true also for uh, n plus 1 that is to say for 2 plus 1 so the statement is true for 3 and uh, as we repeat on the same process we uh, we'll prove it for 4 and 5 and 6 and so on and so on. So, in this way, we actually, as I already said, proved that this statement is true for all the uh, natural numbers. Okay, so we can uh, summarize the lecture and say that uh, uh, mathematical induction is a, a logical. Uh, uh, a logical uh, 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 method to prove uh, that a, a statement, an equation or a claim is uh, true for all the natural numbers. And the natural number uh, is a uh, uh, an integer, a positive integer, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and we make uh, the proof uh, in two stages. In the first stage, we check that the statement is true for n that equals to 1, and in the second stage, we assume that the st uh, statement is true for n, and when, as we rely on, uh, on the assumption that it is true for n, we will prove it for n plus uh, 1. And uh, actually in this way we 
proved that the statement is true for all the natural numbers because in the first stage we proved uh, that the st statement is true for n that equals to 1 and then uh, we proved in general that if it is true for n it also must be true for n plus 1 so we know that it is true for n that equals to, to 1 and from that we can deduce that it is also proof to, uh, true for 1 plus 1 and then we will uh, uh, we uh, repeat again on the same process in order to prove it for 2 and 3 and 4 and so on. Okay, thank you very much.